What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary EA, and we're back here for another episode of the Sacramento Kings, my GM. Now, in today's episode, we will be starting the playoffs. Round one versus the Phoenix Suns. Obviously, they got Nikola Miritic, they got Devin Booker, they got Josh Jackson, Colin Sexton, RJ Barrett, and Lamar Peters. They have so many playmakers on this team, but yo, they are ranked higher. They finished as the third team in the Western Conference. Uh, obviously, we finished a lot lower. Let's see if we can hop into this matchup and actually walk away with the victory. I think that it should be really, really, really interesting. We're ranked higher, but they clearly had a better season. So let's get straight into this matchup. Let's see if we can walk away with the dub. Let's get it. Round one in the Western Conference begins. The Suns enter a new domain where the regular season fades away and the immediate challenge comes into focus as they try to take the upper hand against the Sacramento Kings. Round one, game one, the NBA playoffs coming up next. The playoff battle in the West starts off with a bang right here, game one. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. It's the Sacramento Kings and the Phoenix Suns. Taking a look at Phoenix. In a seven-game series, they have the home crowd advantage. You can, you can feel it in the air, guys. But will they be able to start the series with the win? And well, other than all right, y'all, but it's game time. And like I was saying in my last video, I do plan on uploading some squad builders this coming weekend. Your boy pulled Diamond Kobe like last month. I don't even know how much that man is still going for, but hopefully I can sell him, pick up some MT points, and start that squad building tomorrow. And I'm probably going to be doing a video on draft champs as well. All I'm saying, y'all, fire content is on the way. Fire content is on the way. You guys already know whenever I put out a video, it's automatically fired. All right, it's automatically fired un unless YouTube ruins it and does not convert it to HD because all of my videos are converted. Well, they all rendered in 1080p. So if they don't come out on HD on YouTube, look, fam, that ain't even me. But getting into the gameplay right now, we are up by 3.16 to 13. There's Josh Jackson. He's knocking down that mid range shot. Here we go. We're getting the block. Allison is he's missing the put the putback. Bagley gets the ball. When we're passing it off to Trey Young, he's passing it off. We find Rodney. Here we go. Right back to Bagley. We find Trey Young. Green light. That's money. That is money. As we as you guys know in the last episode, Bagley did walk away with the defensive player of the year. And Trey Young walked away with, with most of You guys are gonna see in this game that Marvin Bagley. He breaking records, man. He, he He's breaking playoff records for this team. And I just like the direction this team is going. And I mean, this is the third season. We actually made the playoffs this year. We have a pretty solid squad. And I personally think that if maybe in one or two seasons, we could actually be legit contenders, depending on who we are able to sign this coming off season. Clearly, we, I think we are the, we are the sixth seed. We're something like that. We are, we are one of those seeds and and, and since this is realistic, I, I do believe that we would be a really hot free agent spot for any top free agent, probably probably towards the end of their prime or or maybe even somebody in their actual prime. We have we, we have a point guard who, who averages like 11, 12 assists a game, still puts up like 13 points. We have a shooting guard who, even though he is undersized, he is capable of getting 25 points a game. We have Bagley who was an all-star in his second season we have Romeo Langford coming off the bench Rodney Hood bowl but we have so much potential on this team and next season I think that we can be legit contenders if we sign the right free agent we have the cap room for it so let me know what you guys think about that but let's get back into this gameplay De'Aaron Fox to bowl to Trey in the corner for the three I think that I think that it is blasphemous how Trey Young was not in the three-point contest this man be getting buckets he be getting buckets, and even though we do have Rodney Hood, and we got him uh, a few episodes ago, don't think that he's untouchable. If we do see a chance for us to get a big name free agent, and we do have to trade him, that could also be a possibility as well. So don't even count him out. He's not stuck here. The only untouchables we have are Trey Young, De'Aaron Fox, and Bagley. I would like to keep Romeo Langford and Bull Bull, but if the right 
opportunity comes for like for like a superstar, we're gonna have to go ahead and take that. Right now we are up 62 to 51. Bagley gets that put back. And yo, this man Bagley had like 11 rebounds in like the first quarter. This man was killing it. Uh, we do kind of choke in the fourth quarter. We are up by 10 plus points, but you guys are pretty much gonna see it right here. Uh, we're up by 11 points going straight up with Trey Young he's knocking down the layup and yo I just want to hear y'all's thoughts and y'all's opinions on this series I've been enjoying myself uh, I do like I do like this series I also liked my Dallas Mavericks one and whenever this series is finished if we're still doing my leagues and my GMs uh, I'll probably choose another another pretty solid team where I could draft my own players I don't want to be rocking with their own draft picks I want to pick my own but yo this was a part I was saying where we where we were choking we are only up by five right now. We're only up by five. Colin Sexton knocks down the three. We're only up by two. Come on, don't choke, man. Don't choke. Here's Josh Jackson. They take their first lead of the game, and we choke, man. We did choke, but don't forget who we have on this squad. Bagley has over 20 rebounds already, and that was the record he actually breaks for this team. This man is already in the 20s for rebounds in the playoffs. We ain't going out like, like that. Even though we choked this lead, it's just because the game was getting a little bit boring. Bagley right now is 23 points, 21 rebounds. But as I was saying before, we only choked because it was getting kind of boring. But don't get it twisted. We are not going to be losing to the Phoenix Suns after having that big of a lead. We come back, and in the end, we do win 87 to 81. We, we were just getting the buckets because we were just taking threes and just playing around, and we were choking a little bit. We got back to what we started with, and of course, we won. Devin Booker finished up the game with 19 points. As for us, Bagley with 25 and 23. Gotta be a playoff record. I'm not completely sure if it is, but it definitely has to be. Trey Young with 20 points. De'Aaron Fox with 19 and 7 assists. Langford with 12. Hood with 6. Bobo with 5 and 10. This was a great team effort. Great game one. Let's see if we can take the 2-0 lead in game two. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys then. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Cause niggas started talking to me like I'm slowing down Opinions over statistics, of course Come at me and all you'll get is the ballistic report